We've all heard about Samsung's brand new S23 Ultra and its spectacular photography capabilities. But what we don't talk about enough is the phone's equally as amazing astrophotography capabilities. In case you didn't already know, the S23 Ultra also brings us a new astrophoto mode to the expert raw shooting mode within its capable camera app, making it possible for anyone and everyone to take pro-level images of the night sky. You can now capture the stars in a whole new light with Samsung Galaxy's S23 Ultra. Now, we do understand that having to use a whole separate app full of settings to adjust is a little intimidating. So, we've chosen to not only test the phone's astrophotography capabilities ourselves, but also provide you guys with a thorough tutorial and demonstration. We're gonna show you step-by-step step how to enable the correct settings, prepare your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and hopefully by the end of it, we'll both have our first astro photo. <laughs> so, first things first, let's go over what you'll need. Number one, a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Number two, a tripod. And last but definitely not least, a place that's completely dark with no artificial lighting. So now that you've got your equipment all sorted out, let's get into how to actually set up your camera and take the actual shot. The first step is to open the camera on your S23 Ultra. And while you might assume that you'll be able to capture the stars using the phone's basic photo mode, you'd be wrong. Simply tap on more to browse through the phone's wide range of shooting modes, which is where you'll find the expert raw option. And you have to use this mode if you want to take high quality photos of the stars. If it's your first time using expert raw, you'll have to download the app add-on from the Galaxy Store. There are several camera options and modes available in the expert raw app to help you take the greatest pictures with your smartphone but we won't be using most of them this time. You should see an icon that resembles a constellation of stars in the toolbar on the left of the viewfinder. Simply tap on it to enter the astrophotography mode. Now you need to change your shooting settings. This is a crucial step as it'll determine how long the phone should capture the stars. And with astrophotography, the longer the better. There's a minimum capture option of four minutes and a maximum of 10 minutes we recommend setting it to as long as possible for the best results, but hey, it's totally up to you. Just experiment and have a bit of fun with it. However, do note that a longer exposure time would allow more light to be exposed to the sensor, thus resulting in a more crisp shot of the stars. You can also enable the star guide, which will project constellations onto your display to help you frame your shot and capture some truly impressive photos of the night sky. So now with all your settings configured, it's time to frame up and begin your capture. You won't be able to take photos of the stars if you're holding the phone in your hands because there needs to be zero wobble if you want a good shot, which is why we said that you would need a tripod. Once your phone's on the tripod, all framed up and ready, simply tap the capture button to shoot the stars with your S23 Ultra. Also, you'd want to make sure your phone is fully charged before you start your photo session because you don't want your phone dying out on you mid-shot. And would you look at that? Look at how beautiful our results are. And there you have it guys, the brilliance of the night sky captured completely on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So if you're interested in taking only the most professional level astrophotos and just photos in general, head over to Samsung's official website that can be found in the description below to purchase the S23 Ultra. I'm Danny. thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. <laughs> <laughs>